to zigzag entoptic to number seven which you know accidentally I just went and did a French seven with a stroke on it but really proper seven is a zigzag a zig and a zag a seven the corner of an object the zigzag entoptic now from number six from the six the pressure wave we encounter fixed pressure situations and they those are what we call objects or they become objective objectivized those those enduring pressure maps so from feeling we get a pressure map if that pressure map endures we have an object and this is what the seven represents which is basically the corners of an object pressure map and then obviously of this object we've then got two ideas two aspects of it the scale and the rotation we can rotate it around in the mind and we can scale it up and down in the body we have the stomach and there's a symbol for the stomach you see there's the stomach sticking out the sort of pot belly if you put it on its side we'll see an approximate sign a balanced sign the sign for Libra the stomach which is about thinking so this is about thinking through all the different shapes in the catalogue in the inventory all the different shapes and objects that you know that you what you're limited to in your environment also in the in the body we have the, the spleen and there the symbol there for the spleen which is Scorpio and the spleen is about accumulation and distribution you know, the build up of the blood and the distribution of the blood to collect the food and distribute it around the body and this is the function of Scorpio accumulating things and then distributing them you know collecting things and then going putting them where they all should go and this in the body is the tongue the sense of taste, the thinker, the child takes the object and puts it to his mouth. So the object I, is identified by the taste. The taste is a secondary sense because every every shape tastes differently. Obviously, if everything's made of plastic, it doesn't, you know, just as our mind. But if it's an, a, a leaf, every leaf tastes differently and it can be identified. So this is the basic ethology, you know, to put it to your mouth, see what it tastes like. And the different tastes make you a thinker, and these develop in the idea of having different tastes and being a thinker, being sophisticated.